Right guys, welcome back. The moment we have all been waiting for. Let's see how our browser looks with all that code we just did in like the last 10 videos. Well, really the last 93 videos. Okay, so start from the top. Go to your localhost forward slash VP forward slash content dot PHP. And let's click on this is Village Park. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on with our CSS? This is right here. I don't like that. Why is our footer so big? Why did this move to the middle right here? Let's go and clean this up and make it look um, presentable. Let's make it look a lot better. So let's go to our CSS folder. I don't think we really needed a folder. There's just one CSS page. And let me open this up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so from the top, let me right click this. This was our TD ID nav. Okay, so let's find that our, we haven't even created uh, CSS for our body tables, table rows, as well as table cells. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and create more default CSS rules. Table rows and TD for table cell. Remember TD is for table cell, kind of confusing. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna do border collapse. Is that how you spell collapse? No, there's two L's. Collapse. Vertical align. Top. Whoa, what are we doing? What's going on? Vertical line top. Line height. We will see how. 15 pixels looks, might have to go back to that. Font size, let's go 15 again. Oh, got the wrong colon there. 15 pixels there. Height, let's bring it to 100%. So, let's save it. When we reload it, let me get this out of here now. Let's reload this. Okay, so this goes all the way down to the bottom right now, I hope. Does it still jump around? Okay, good, perfect. I still wanna clean this up though. This, I don't know. Looks good for us. We gotta put some padding right here, top padding. Okay, so let's find our, what do we call this? I think it was main. Scroll down, yeah it was. Okay, so we'll give it um, padding top of uh, like 10 maybe try 15 pixels we'll see how that looks what am i doing pixels let's reload that okay that looks better i want to focus on the css in this navigation table right here so let's find our nav table right here i'm gonna go ahead and put this all in one line just like that and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give it Ugh. nav a for our link tag I'm, I always want it to be blue I don't care if you've already clicked on it I just I still want it to be blue I don't like that purple that shows up after someone's clicked on it and uh, text decoration I don't know if someone's on a crazy browser or whatnot but I don't want anything to show up let's save that let's reload it okay it's always blue okay good so it took the um, the lines underneath it, everything was underlined. If you want the underlines there, the underline there, go ahead and take text decoration out. And I'm not done with my unordered list yet. What I want to do is my unordered list, no, info, div tag, yada, yada, yada. I will do padding left zero because I do not want this to move and list style none I don't want bolts to show up I don't want numbers to show up but for pages I do because I want pages to look a lot different than info pages um, padding left let's push this more to the right than our info, so we need to push it from the left. I'll do two EMs, we'll see how that looks. 
and list style, I'm gonna add square boxes in there. So let's save that, let's reload it. Whoa. Boxes. Oh, I didn't add, I didn't add the squares. Sorry about that. Square, Q, U, always. Save that, we'll reload it. Still didn't work. I figured out why this didn't work. It's because we already have pages down here um, below it and it's cascading order so anything below will outweigh what's above if it has the same calling, uh, same div class or ID class. So I'm gonna take these out and now this should work. Save this, we'll reload it. Give me my squares, there's my squares. Okay, perfect. There's still a little bit too much space right here so I'm gonna uh, decrease the width right here in my nav. So where's my nav? And we're gonna go from 200 to 150. We'll see what that looks like. All right, a lot better. And our, our footer is still funky as heck. So let's look at our footer. Where is my footer? It's right here. Put my footer on one line as well. Color, I don't want it to be white. I want it to be the color of my header, so I'm going to change it to FF4800. This is the only hex pattern I've ever remembered. It's like this um, Home Depot orange right here. I'm going to save that. And what else do I want to do? Okay, so instead of the content right here to 400 pixels, let's go ahead and change it just to 100%. And we'll save it. Now let's look at our color, text align. No, I want my color to be white for my footer and I want the background to be that color, the FF4800. Close that beast out. Let's reload this. Yeah, much better. Look at that footer. Okay, everything looks good. Let's click around about Village Park, add new information. We've still got a lot of space down here. That's fine because we can always add stuff to it. Footer is right there. Looks a lot better than it did before. So I'll leave this video at that. Sorry about the, the CSS um, mix up. And uh, we should have knocked, we should have taken care of this a while ago. But hopefully your website looks like mine. Let me know if you guys have any problems with the CSS. And in the next video, we'll see if we can add, delete all of our pages. All right.